These are the historical records which Chris Nee claims proves China as the rightful owner of a small group of islands in the East China Sea, which are at the center of a long-running international dispute. For decades, the Daoyu Islands have been caught in a fierce tug of war between the world's most populous nation it and its neighbor, Japan. At times, a battle for ownership of the islands has led to high levels of tension between the two countries. And these are the islands which are the cause of so much debate. Lying northeast of Taiwan and taking up a total area of around seven square kilometers, the group of eight islands, known as the Senkaku to the Japanese, were gifted to Japan in the aftermath of the Second World War. Using hours of historical footage from sources including the U.S. National Archives, Niebuhr's pieced together a documentary he says firmly marks the Daoyu Islands on the map of China. It is Imperial Japan, which in 1895, after the first Sino-Japanese War, annexed the Daoyu Islands. It needs to be clarified that, that Daoyu Islands, the fishing islands, uh, have been... Chinese territory since ancient times. The documentary Daoyu Islands The Truth had its debut screening in Beijing on Sunday, March 23rd. The issue of the Daoyu Islands is best understood in the context of a comprehensive history between China and Japan, which will be addressed in chronological order. While much of this history is disastrous and at times horrifying, the purpose of this film is to encourage reconciliation and immediately incorporated the uninhabited islands as part of the Okinawa prefecture under the sovereignty of Japan. This was done even though the Diaoyu Islands had historically been Chinese territory and the annexation was never part of the Shimonoseki Treaty. It chronicles the island's history right up until the Second World War and its aftermath. It also looks at the issue of Japanese the use of comfort Syria women during World War II. So-called comfort stations. In the 1943 Human Rights Treaty of Cairo in Egypt and the 1945 German Potsdam Proclamation, British Prime Minister Sir Winston Churchill, US President Harry Truman and Soviet Marshal Joseph Stalin ordered Japan to return to China all ceded territories of the 1895 Shimonoseki Treaty. It is at this point that the Diaoyu Islands issue could have been easily resolved. In the 1951 San Francisco Treaty between Japan and the USA, the Diaoyu Islands were placed under the administration of the United States. In vain, both Beijing and Taiwan protested this U.S. administration of the Diaoyu Islands. Neither the People's Republic of China nor Taiwan were consulted nor invited as signatories to the 1951 San Francisco Peace Treaty. This clearly demonstrates the political climate of those days, which was dictated by Cold War hysteria. America should encourage its Japanese ally to return the islands immediately and apologize to China for the war crimes of Imperial Japan. This is my message. And my message is in peace because it's morally wrong what's happening, what has happened and what is happening. Nibat laid 500,000 US dollars of his own money shooting the documentary. I do not want to be called in the West a paid propagandist. Defending the film, he says it has reliable sources. There are photographs, there are footage from in black and white, there are uh, uh, books, uh, for example, about comfort women. There were three books written about it, and there are photos where some survivors testified at the Tokyo War Cri uh, Tribunals. If an outsider says something about something like this, it carries more weight than when you say it. Because when you say it, it feels like self-serving. When I say it, it's just a neutral observer who has collected the facts. The film made its American debut in Los Angeles on March 11. Neeb says first reactions were lukewarm. 
but he claims this is changing. Sort of resistance when they first, but slowly we are on public TV in America. There was resistance with, there is and was resistance in some stations, but I have dozens of letters here, which I can show you if you want, where the TV stations, after they have aired the series, report about the enthusiastic response from the viewers and that they want more films. The director also believes Japanese audiences will want to watch the film. And I'm sure that a lot of Japanese will appreciate because this film, I now more than ever believe, will really open the door for a reconciliation 